Okay, so to insert an item, we put it at the end of the list. So it's going to end up at the end of the last level in whatever slot's open. So we're going to be adding it to some child in the last level. So the problem is that when we insert something, we may have broken the heap order rule. So you can see that 7 here is less than the parent, which we don't want. Uh, so somehow we have to move the 7 up and put it in the right place so the heap order rule is uh, followed. And we do that by just swapping it with its parent if it's out of order. So this is called percolating up and so the procedure is if it's out of order once we've added it to the end we swap it with its parent. So you can see the 7 and 18 swap and now if it's still out of order with that parent it swaps with that parent. It just keeps doing that until eventually it may end up at the root. So in this case it swaps the 7 and 9, so the 7 moves up to here, and the root is smaller so it doesn't have to swap with the root. Um, but when we do this, we're, uh, when we're all done, we now have a tree that meets the uh, heap order rule again. So here's the code for doing it. I put a little remember that uh, anytime you at, at a position i in the index and you want to get the left child, you just multiply by 2. Anytime you want to get the right child, you multiply oops, by 2, and then add 1, and if any time you want to get the parent, you just divide by 2. So perk up is going to be a helper function that's going to move an item up, and you pass it the index number of the current uh, node that's out of order, and uh, while the parent, so we're dividing i by 2 to get the parent, is greater than 0, so while it has a parent, this is a good test for that, uh, then if it's out of order, we swap the parent and i. And then we, sweat, we switch the loop to look at the parent because that's now where our new item is. And we go back and now check that parent. So this will loop and keep swapping until it satisfies the condition. So insert becomes very simple. We just append it to the end of the list. We increment the size and then we call perk up to move the node to its proper position to meet the uh, heap order property. Now removing the smallest, we're going to find out similar. Uh, the smallest is when we uh, delete uh, min, that's going to be the one at the top of the list. So we're going to remove the root node and return it. That's going to be the smallest value. Once we remove it, we're going to have a hole in our complete binary tree, so it's not complete anymore. So to fill the hole, uh, we're going to, we're, we have to fill the hole in a way that we, the whole uh, tree now meets the heap order property again. So here's a picture of what happens. We've removed the 5 from the heap, so we have this hole. And uh, so we're going to move the last item into the top position. So because, the, we're gonna, because we removed something, if we make the list shorter, we want to remove the last item in the list. So we just move it up to this hole. And you can see naturally it's going to be out of position. So we're going to be a similar thing. We're going to swap this with one of the children. Uh, but we have to decide which one. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap the 27 with the smallest child as long as the 27 has smaller children. So we have an item here we're going to sm swap with the smallest child, uh, which was what turned out it was a 9. We had a 9 or 11 in the original list you see here. So it's swapped with the smallest child and we just continue doing that. So now it's still out of order. We swap with the 14 which is the smallest of 14 and 18 and then we, at the last we swap with the 17, so it's going to end up uh, down here at the end. And then we're all done. This process is called percolating down. Okay, so now here's all the code we have so far that we've covered. Uh, to delete min, uh, you can see it gets, the, uh, it gets the top of the list, so that's going to be the return value, which is the smallest. Uh, and then it's going to uh, s swap, so this is uh, going to swap the uh, uh, the end of the list with the first one, which, which is where our hole is now, so it's just going to move it up there. Then it's going to reduce the current size, it's going to pop the end of the list, and then it's going to call perk down on the top item. And so perk down is similar to perk up, it, uh, except it's it's going down in children instead of up. Uh, so while uh, it has a child, 
is less than the size, so this is checking if it has a child. Uh, it gets the value for the min child, so it calls a special method called min child, and that just looks at the two children and returns which index number is the smallest child. And then if uh, if it uh, needs to go down further, uh, it swaps with one, that child and then sets i to uh, the index number where which child is swapped for because that's where it is now. So then it continues swapping down in the list until it's in the proper place. There's one more thing. There's a trick to build a heap from a list in just in time. So it'd be easy to build a min heap from a list by just inserting each element. So we'd have uh, n insertions at log n, so our total would be n log n o of n log n. But it turns out we can do a lot better uh, if you read the last part of this section, you can see how you can do the whole thing in n time. And it basically starts with the original list and just rearranges it to get heap order. And it turns out we can do that in uh, that amount of time. And just a last note, uh, you can actually sort a list using a priority uh, heap like this, a bin heap. And you do it by inserting everything in the list. Uh, uh, and then you'd call delete min to pull it out one at a time and build a new list and you could sort using n log n time. So that's as good as a, a, a sort method will get.